How you doing there guys? I uh, just got a new piece of uh, equipment uh, I got from Rogue. Um, I thought I'd make a video of it to show you my first impressions uh, of the bar. And also I'm going to do a comparison of the Chan bar that I got uh, from Rogue. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. This is the first bar uh, up front here is the Ohio bar. The IPF approved Hoyle bar and the bar behind it is the uh, Chan bar. So let's go through the uh, Ohio bar first. First off, um, it comes in two flavors. It comes with the uh, zinc um, bar with uh, bright zinc um, sleeves and uh, it also comes in a uh, stainless steel. Um, version and uh, it's a 20 kilo bar which is 44 pounds that's uh, the uh, uh, measurements they use for uh, for powerlifting meets it's metric um, so it weighs 20 uh, kilos which is um, 44 pounds and um, so like I said the um, the um, Sleeve is uh, bright zinc, and then the, the bar itself is uh, black zinc, and then uh, yeah, so this side too is uh, you can see it's uh, the bright zinc, and also um, the bar is a day old. I used it once already. So why did I buy this bar? And uh, all right, so I'm going to show you the uh, Chan bar first, and show you what uh, what the problem was with this bar as far as um, being able to uh, exercise um, and do my lifts um, competition-wise. So uh, first off, the bar is a very good bar. This is the one that's in. Uh, the uh, satin chrome and there's actually no maintenance whatsoever you just wipe it down you know just you know if it's just laying around getting dusty but um, there's no uh, <clears throat> there's no rusting or anything as, as, as long as I've had it I've had it like three years already um, also this bar is like an all-around bar it has the uh, the rings for the um, for the uh, power lifting and it's got the rings for weight lifting so you can either use this bar for uh, power lifting or or weight lifting um, moves um, so uh, what the problem was with this bar is though the neural is is nice but it's not really aggressive and um, what's really cool about this bar also is that it even has like a slight neural in the uh, in this section here which normally the bars come it's all smooth and also you have a neural for the uh, middle so for doing um, squats but with this bar here as you can see I'm gonna measure it show you that. it's uh, 21 21 inches across so when I was doing deadlifts I was doing deadlifts um, I wouldn't even be on the neural end of it because the shoulder width for my hands would come here. So what I have to do is I would like put my pinky fingers on here just to get some, just to get some um, of the neural here. And it, it's okay if, for doing um, one rep maxes and stuff, but as far as doing reps, the hands start sweating and. Um, and I start slipping off because I, I don't have my hand on the uh, hands on the uh, actual neural. And also, I don't use chalk because I have the dogs here, and I don't want the, the dogs to get the chalk on their paws and stuff and start licking it up. I don't know how how bad it would be for them to start licking the stuff up. Plus, it's going to be hard to, to keep it clean here. Um, so anyway, 
at the time I bought this, uh, Rogue didn't have the IPF approved bar. He had the power bar, Ohio power bar, but it wasn't approved for IPF at the time. Um, so I bought this one. And um, I really like it. Uh, like I said, hardly there was no maintenance whatsoever, except I, I took it apart and I got a video of that, how to maintain this, the, um, the bearings and stuff on the, uh, on the bar. So that's the reason why um, I've been going through my, you know, thinking about how I can make this better. And there's really no way except for getting the, uh, you know, the competition bar. So um, I went ahead and I got the competition bar and I'm going to show you that next. As far as all this, um, the differences in the uh, neural and also the spacing here. So, um, all right, so let's get over to the, um, over to the Ohio bar. Okay, here we are back at the Ohio bar. And as you see at the other side, it was um, 21 inches was the spacing from here to here. And on the uh, power bar here, it's, um, it's 17 inches. So what it does here now, instead of my hands being on the smooth part, I now actually can put my hands around the uh, knurling completely now for the lift. Also, this one has the uh, power lifting uh, rings. It's, it's as far as you can go, as far as on your, like on your bench press. Uh, this is as far as you can go with your uh, hands. Uh, spacing and also the uh, neural is probably 20% more coarse than the uh, chan bar is and uh, it's, uh, it's going to take a little bit to get used to because I'm used to that bar here I actually have hardly or no no uh, neural at all in my hands so and this is the reason why I got it now because as you know next month I start my training for uh, the uh, meet for next year so uh, this is my last month of the uh, bodybuilding uh, um, for the summer so um, I'm going to be starting uh, next month for training so at least this gives me the month uh, the rest of the month to uh, to get used to this neural and then I got the whole six months to get used to it but I, I actually be able to work out pretty good without uh, really digging in and and, uh, you know, it kind of hurts uh, when you start doing reps. One rep uh, max is it's, it's not that bad. So, yeah, so uh, that's, that's it on the bar. That's the reason why I got it, uh, because the, um, it's the competition, the weight is 44 pounds. Uh, it's calibrated. Uh, on the Chan bar, it says it's uh, 44 pounds also, but uh, it's not calibrated, so it could be off uh, more than, uh, than than this one is. Also, uh, what I did, I um, I got the uh, competition collars, which is uh, two and a half kilos, so that's like uh, five. Uh, Five pounds, I think. Um, so, which brings the bar to uh, 55 pounds. So, uh, 44, 44 pounds for the bar, and then uh, 11 pounds for um, combined um, on these uh, competition um, collars. So that gives you 55 pounds. So what I do now when I warm up, I just I warm up with the 55 pounds now instead of the 45 pound bar. Um, I have, I really have no uh, nothing to say about these. Um, as you see here, see they're IPF approved. Um, the only thing that is different uh, is this: the way you tighten up the. Uh, plates and I'll show you that uh, one of these on another video um, I just want to, to tell you guys about the bar 
Um, so this tightens up the plates on the bar and this tightens the collar itself on the bar. And um, this is different than most. Um, the levers are different, the, lock, the locking lever. Um, so I don't know if this is going to bug me at all when I'm, when I'm doing my lifts, if this thing's going to be moving around or whatever. Um, I'll, I'll soon find out. But uh, so far, they're, they're nice. Um, they spin nice. And they, they, lock, they lock pretty easily. So, uh, yeah, so th I got this too. So now what I have to do is uh, get myself some uh, kilo plates. I like to get myself at least two 55-pound uh, plates because I, 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 the object here is to actually work out exactly the way that I'm going to be uh, doing the meat. The, everything will be the same. The, the bar will be the same. The plates will be the same because the center of gravity is different um, with uh, the thicker plates, um, the 45-pound plates that we normally use. Um, the center of gravity is different uh, with the uh, competition plates. They're thinner, and the competition plate is 55 pounds each for the he heaviest, you know, the heaviest plate that they use uh, on the platform. So um, that's the reason why I want to get a couple uh, of the plates, so I can at least uh, get used to the, to the plate um, that they're going to be used at the meet. So um, when this month is over, I'm going to make a video of actually what I'm going to be doing for the next six months for preparing for the meet and what's actually going to happen next year. Uh, I'm not going to go to it right now. All I want to do is show you guys my new bar and how nice it is, how I like it. Rogue makes, uh, has a good product here. And uh, like I said, I had no complaints on the Chan bar except that uh, it's not uh, great for, um, for actually training like you would do for uh, at the or, you know when you're competing at the meet. Also, like I'm training down here in the basement now. If I was training at an actual powerlifting uh, gym, uh, they would have all this uh, equipment, and they would have the kilo plates and stuff. So, uh, uh, but uh, working down in the basement here, um, you know, I, I'm only working out with what I have. So I keep adding stuff in here so it can be. Uh, like the you know at the meet also i want to get a competition bench that you actually use at the meet they call it a combo bench you can do squats set up for squats and set up for the uh, bench on this i was thinking about getting a new rack but the price that i'll be paying for the rack um i can i can get the the combo uh the combo the combo bench um and do my squats and bench in in the same uh, area um, and do the exact, uh, use the exact same equipment that you'll be doing at the meet. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to stick with my old, um, my old, uh, rack here. And the, um, part where I rest the, um, where I rest the bar on so it doesn't get damaged because it's metal, on metal. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have some steel plates welded on to it. And I'll show you that too when I get that done. So guys, that's it. Um, I hope uh, you guys uh, are interested in uh, you know actually training for meat. You're gonna do it in your basement. You don't want to work out at a gym. This is a good way to go. Like I said, the Chan bar they don't make the uh, satin chrome anymore, but it comes in the same thing. They come with the zinc uh, coating and some other coating they come out come with. Um, it's a very good bar for working out if you want to have a you know, a weightlifting bar, and not one of those bars you get from, uh, you know, from your big box stores. All right then. So until uh, next time, uh, stay healthy, and I'll see you uh, in the basement. <laughs>